Hey guys, my name is Dr. Bruno Subarau. I'm your AOC PM&R Fellowship Chair, and I'm here to board review with you today in order to help you become a PM&R superstar. So let's take a look at our first case. A 68-year-old African-American male is seen on rounds. He suffered a stroke four days ago and was admitted to your inpatient facility. Although he performs well in therapy and has shown good comprehension, the speech therapist informs you he has poor repetition and poor fluency. What type of aphasia does he have? Okay, great. So this is how we take any aphasia question and make it ridiculously easy. We have to remember to stay consistent with how we draw our aphasia tree. It goes fluency, comprehension, then repetition. Fluency, comprehension, then repetition. You're going to have all your positives on the right-hand side, all your negatives on the left-hand side, and that's going to give us our eight aphasias in the exact order that we need them in order to memorize them properly. Okay, let's take a look at this next slide. Okay, so here you can see schematically exactly what I'm talking about. How the pluses are on the, or the positives are going to be on the right side and the negatives on the left, so you can have your final eight aphasias. Okay, so how do we remember them? Well, look at the first letters that are attached to each of these uh, names, these aphasia names. Now, if we move on to the next slide, we can start seeing a building of the mnemonic. So for the non-fluent aphasias, you can see get my butt to Miami, which correlates to the aphasias global for get, mixed for my, brocas for butt, and transcortical motor for to Miami. Moving on to the fluent aphasias, you can see when the snow comes around, which correlates to Wernicke's for when, transcortical sensory for the snow, conduction for comes, and anomia for around. So here again is the mnemonic. Get my butt to Miami when the snow comes around. Get my butt to Miami when the snow comes around. Get my butt to Miami when the snow comes around. Okay, you got to remember that. So what does our patient have? He's non-fluent. He has good comprehension and poor repetition. That leaves us with broke his aphasia. It's as easy as that, guys. Hopefully this mnemonic will help you in your quest to become a PM&R superstar. My name, once again, is Dr. Bruno Subarau, and I'm your AOC PM&R Fellowship Chair. Visit us at www.aocpmnr.org and like, like us on our Facebook page. I'll see you next time. Bye. Get my butt to Miami when the snow comes around.